Hey everyone, it's me, Nathan from Nathan's Way, and I am doing my last video of COGS, Cogs Expo, um, the steampunk expo I went to. So, I kind of really wish I could have blended all the clips I posted previously together, including this, but unfortunately I don't have a computer with editing software. I only have my phone that is now spider cracked. Spelling tea. So good. Oh man, this is delectable. Okay. Don't worry, I'll get to it. So, this is going to be my haul that I did for the expo. Like, what I bought at the expo. So, this is my Cogs haul. Oh my god, Cogs haul. Okay, so... Back close to my hometown, um, a couple towns away, there was this park called Cogshell, Cogshell, Cog yeah, Cogshell Park, Cog Cogswell, I don't know, but, side tangent, but the Cog Steampunk Expo Hall, and I am going to show you what I got. Now, I, there are some things that are animal products so I'm going to save those to la for last to be kind to my vegan friends because vegan because you know sometimes I just want to be respectful for I mean they want all my vegan friends are wonderful and veganism is I mean more power to you I cheers to that Ooh. This is good, girl. Mm. Doing my little tea happy dance. Okay. So, first let's start off with... Let's start off with a necklace I bought. Okay, so... Oh, shoot. This, okay, so... This is... A necklace I got now yeah it it was so gorgeous I it had well my friend said I had to have it so I got it where is a camp okay now unfortunately it didn't make it back all in one piece because if you see that this braid kind of stops and yeah so that was my error, but this is so high quality, and look at that labradorite, lab, labradorite in the, ugh, point, oh man, isn't that gorgeous, I just, I love this, yeah, I, I did, it did get a boo-boo, and that was my fault, but it's good quality, handcrafted, and they had so many cool trinkets, my friend Holly, um, she, uh, she he made up a whole story for this, um, but a little dab of super glue should do the trick. So that was all me, and yeah. So this is Sapphire Studios, and I will definitely put a link. There we go. Okay, so. Mm. So next. What is next? Let's do tea. So, a while back, my me and my friend a day, we've been friends since first day of first grade. We have been trading teas on and off for a while, and he um he traded me one for, uh, Moroccan mint from Wonderlust Tea Company. Now, I absolutely love this business card because look at it. It is so high quality. It shines and glimmers and then the other side. See, in order to impress me into business and, and your business, you either have to have really good products or really fantastically well done business cards and uh, they hit the mark on both. So look at this. I mean, Boom, it is so shiny and gorgeous and ugh, 
good job Wonderlust on your marketing. So now this, this is some good stuff right now. Mm. I am drinking this lemon jade sencha. Sencha? Oh, okay. So. So. Oh, it smells heavenly. I mean, look at this. Look at that. I'm going to try not to. Yeah, look at that. So. Some companies. Okay, so. I noticed that some companies is like their packaging like is either really really good or really really iffy now I love how they did this it's in a cylinder tube and it has a seal I mean like it's a really strong seal and they tape it up like they put the little thingy and then they put that little logo and like this is really well done stuff and so I just made myself a little tea bag that I'm probably going to steep a couple times just add like run the water for a little bit longer oh, it's so good. Mm. and it was packed I only took a spoonful out and it was like poof like so they are very generous with the amount they give you and they have so i got um lemon jade she, 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 yeah lemon jade 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 sencha right it tastes so delightful it's citrusy citrusy earthy And just very mellow and light. Oh. Mm. I'm loving it. So, of course, I gotta, um, I gotta get my smoked tea. This is Russian Caravan. It is a black tea and oolong tea. And it is smoked. Oh, I love smoked tea. Like, okay, I'm gonna open this. just to smell it like I love my smoky teas like find me a really good smoked tea and it's just mm, we're, we're gonna be really good friends okay yeah I really do like how they have the the little stickers that run down the sides and because you know that it's not Oh my god, that smells so good. And look how generous they are. Like, I mean, that is very generous of them. So this is Russian Caravan. Let's put this lid right back on. And then I got... Hosha? Hosha, I think? Okay, this smelled really good and I had to have it. And it comes in a little bit, a little tan, but you only need just, just a tiny, just a tiny bit. And let's see. Uh, this is Citrus Sunset. I'm a very big fan of citrus flavors. I mean, like, yes. Like. Okay, so. This is. And this was really good. This was a butterscotch caramel, and it smelled like the. Oh, it smelled really good. Okay, so let me read you the notes for each one. The lemon jade sencha, a uh, brilliant flat leaf green tea infused with. Bright citrus flavors, great hot or iced. I can see this really being, um, really being good as iced. So it has, um, 
green tea, marigold petals, lemon, and lemon flavor. Um, I wonder what they used for lemon flavor. Mm. Mm. It could just be a lemon flavor of the peel. Okay, so Russian Caravan. Um, this traditional blend is cut with Lapsang Shusong. Oh my gosh, did I, act I actually say that right? Lapsang Shusong for its characteristics of smokiness. It is black and oolong tea. I loved my smoked tea. It just, it is just amazing. Um, and then Citrus Sunset. Let's, I'll just do an, another opening. Oh my gosh. I think I picked the right ones. Let me just. I really shouldn't peel those off until like I'm ready to use it, but what, mm. like, oh, look at this guys, look at this, or like, it was, again, very generous, a cheerful herbal blend that pairs bright lemon with summer berries and sweetness, robust Robust lemongrass, s um, linden, linden blossom, I think. It's very small. Um, lemon peel and berry and citrus flavors. So yeah, I mean, I understand why they do the flavors part because they don't want anyone like taking their, like. taking their recipe but I'm like as a future um tea blender hopefully like I'm very curious like I really want to get into oh tea blending eventually and this is a butterscotch I'm not going to open this one but I feel just yeah um delicious hot or iced sweet blend is perfect for dessert or breakfast Black tea, butterscotch, and caramel flavors. Oof. And it is like, mm, it, it's, yeah. And then this one doesn't have a description, but it smelled really good and I had to have it. And it was in this one. And again, I'm not opening it because I don't know how this is packaged and I don't want to go in over it, like over everywhere. And then I have no tea. So, yeah, Wonderless Tea Company, I think I'm really going to enjoy them. And um, they actually, my friend Ade trade me one of theirs because he LARPs with, um, I don't know if it's like the co-founder or founder's partner or like, I mean, they're both, I guess they are both into LARPing. I don't know. But um, they LARP with Dystopia, and, and Dystopia Rising and... Um, I guess that's where our, um, my friend Ade got like got introduced to this company. So thank you, Ade, and their Moroccan mint is mm, wonderful. I've had their Moroccan mint before, and it's yeah. Um, actually, I don't think it is with me. I think that it's in Georgia. I only bought certain teas that I know I was gonna like want to need. Okay, now let's get to human wine. So, human wine, my, the reason why I went to this expo is to spend time with my good friend Holly. She is just a wonderful person, and I just, you know, she inspires me to, like, be creative. She inspires me to travel, wander, like, have adventures, and her music, her music means so much to me, like, Whenever she sings certain songs, it gives me goosebumps or I tear up, like, um, uh, like, Defiled Corpse, which is about going to a friend's funeral and all of a sudden they're, they're all made up to look like something they weren't, and I kind of have a fear of that, like, 
if I die tomorrow, will people recognize me for me or will I be in a suit or will I like if I had tattoos, will they be covered up if I had piercing? Like that's what the song discuss discuss and it it really gets me into into this certain headspace of what if what if it could have happened to me and that's basically what the i mean that's part of the song like i think one of the lines in the song is is uh it could have it could have been me but not today hey so yeah no i holly gave me some stuff and i bought some stuff because she's just a wonderful person so I bought two t-shirts and she gave me two things, so I think it bounces out or whatnot, but she is just a wonderful human being and and her music just gives me yeah, spine tingles like, um, uh, what else, um, there's bismuth elements, um, a rope, oh, what's that song? Don't throw the rope around your neck and pretend that nothing is sacred. Okay, yeah, that, like, that song came to me when I needed to hear that uh, the most because I, that was one of the first songs I've heard Holly sing. Um, and I think I remember it her performing it in Human Wine, but it's a Folks Below song. So, Holly is the mastermind of um, Human Wine and the Folks Below, and her voice is just gorgeous and amazing. And I'll leave links up below so you can listen. Um, she has more like circusy type music, and then and human wine has like circusy music and then it has um very like a their new ether ether or um ether or four four album digital pack um had uh had more electronic beats and it was that one's very meditative for me. And then her folks below music are like songs of hope and like a strength and finding that strength. And that's more folky. So yeah, now um, she's planning on getting more music and I can't wait. So I got this shirt, which I thought I was going to cut this up and like do a new vest and do eye gear here like in the front and then use human wine as a bottom back patch and then she got new t-shirts this is new the gear in the works it is huge and it looks good on me it feels amazing on me and good quality i am surprised at that how well this fits too like it just, this one is a lot soft, like delicate. This one is very sturdy, very, very well done. Um, who? Okay, Port and Company. Okay, yeah. So, really good quality there. Yeah. So that that will go through the wash and it will stay strong. Now, check this one out. This was my first. That's my first one. This one has been through times. Like, I'm thinking of using this one as a back patch or something because oh, I just love it. I mean, it's an amazing. Okay. So, she also did aromatherapy line. Does a aromatherapy line. And I got her... Aether roll on. To me, it smells like. It 
it kind of smells like a cigar. Like, not, not like smoke, but it's like that earthy, really earthy tone with a citrus scent to it. Now, whenever I wear this, like, the, yeah, the profile changes when you roll it on. And it's a very spicy and grapefruity smell to it. Like, it's... It's a very earthy, um, it's a very earthy scent. Uh, she used fractionated and, um, coconut oil and 100% organic essential oil. So there is a citrusy smell with some spicy notes. It kind of reminds me of that cigar scent. Not like, not like the smoky part, but like when you just smell it. I mean, I never smell a cigar. I mean, I've seen people who like smoke cigars and they're like smell less and that's what it kind of reminds me of like I don't know I don't smoke so like how am I supposed to know so but that's what it reminds me of now this this is her candle it is a massage candle of the same of the same scent and it's nice and comes with this little bone sorry animal parts I trigger warned it in the beginning now yeah I mean yeah it's really good now she actually has these for sale she just promoted them online you can get your very own shirt on their band camp or or their store I'll put the link below so you can get yourself one they run big and I was running her merch right? I was helping sell her merch it runs big and this is a this is a large and it really fit well well I was really pleased with this and yeah it's I am I'm going to get another shirt um, for separate projects, so, just, just, yeah, I, I highly recommend getting it. Oh, and look at this. You saw this in the last video. It is a little pentacle that was given me by Sapphire Arts when I was filming. It's so adorable. And I got this center, uh, center, but, um, uh, enamel pin and it's Victor and the bully and Victor actually gave it to me gave one to me and Holly while we were er, waiting for the set now next I got this on video this is very useful a lot of people want their bottles popped oh hey but uh no, I was wearing this and a couple people ask if I can, like, it's, it sits on your belt. Oh, and you can just pop open bottles and a couple people ask if they can pop. And I'm like, oh, hey, I made a little joke and they laughed. So, yeah, really good. Look at the grain. It, it is amazing. It I got this from Dockstone Studios. And yeah, it's really good quality. I mean, heavy duty. You're not gonna, it's not gonna break if you pop a bottle. And this, I got from Earthbound Leathers. It is a pocket. Oh, I love the smell of leather. Sorry, vegan friends, but look, it's really spacey. Fits on your belt. And yeah, they actually had this amazing belt with just pockets I really wanted, but I can't afford right now because I just I need to focus on other things but I'm thinking of getting a custom one built for me but it was very comfortable and good quality good quality stuff guys like yeah and I'm having a friend making make make me a matching 
matching belt holder for my Leatherman. So yeah. Well, I am running out of time. Um, I have a couple seconds left, but I just want to do my haul and promote these these wonderful companies. Um, there are a lot more that I wanted to promote, so um, just go on my a couple videos that way where I do a walking tour and check those vendors out. And I'm running out of time, so much love and best wishes. Bye, everyone.